Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make a video today. It's been a long time since I've made anything. Uh, 2021 was a very busy year for me. And uh, so unfortunately, uh, making these videos kind of took a backseat to some things, but I'm back now and I want to talk about some new gear that I've acquired over the last year. And one of those major pieces of gear is the Gossamer Gear G420. <laughs> So right before my last section hike on the Appalachian Trail, I decided it was time for an upgrade on a few things, major thing of that being this pack. Uh, I was still carrying an old Mountain Smith pack, which was uh, doing its job fine, but was really heavily lacking in some features that I really wanted in a backpack, especially since I've been section hiking and doing longer distance hikes. There were just a lot of things uh, I was finding I needed and wanted out of a newer pack. So I landed on this, which is the G420 from Gossamer Gear. And there was a couple of things that attracted me to this pack immediately. Uh, one of those being the price tag. It was sub $200 for this pack at the time that I purchased it. Um, it, for all intents and purposes, is still an ultralight pack and a pretty simplistic one. Uh, this pack comes in, I think, at 48 liters total volume. Um, I think the main body is 42 liters. But I want to go over some practical stuff. Uh, you guys can look on Gossamer Gear's website if you want to see more of the technical side of it. I want to go over the practical side of it and tell you why I like this pack, um, my experience with it so far, and why I'm going to continue to carry this pack in 2022. So the main thing that I was missing out with the older pack, which is becoming wildly popular among most backpacks now is the big stretchy Lycra pocket here on the front. Um, that was a huge deal to me because there's a lot of stuff I want to be able to access all day long on a section hike. And I did not have that option with the Mountain Gear, or I'm sorry, the uh, Mountain Smith pack that I've been carrying for several years. In fact, all it had on the back of it was just two big zip pockets, um, which wasn't totally uh, inconvenient, but this is a lot better option, especially if things are getting wet. I've used this to dry a number of things, hang my raincoat out of it, my extra socks, whatever. This has been a huge plus. Um, as you can see this, I mean, you can stuff an enormous amount of stuff into the pocket on this Gossamer Gear pack. Um, I apologize, it's, I, I haven't cleaned it since my last section on it, so you can see it's still, it's still kind of dirty, so. You know, I'm not lying when I tell you I actually use this pack. Um, this, like I said, this was a huge deal to me. And the other thing was the side pockets on the Gossamer gear provide a lot more volume than what I'm used to. Uh, in fact, this side goes up quite a bit higher. You can actually get two full smart water bottles in one side of this. So uh, what I've been doing is I keep my water on one side and then I've actually got enough room. I can put my whole cook kit on this side. So I've got access to the water to my cook kit. I keep a bag of my daily food back here in this pocket. And so my stops throughout the day section hiking, I'm not even getting into the internals of the pack. So it makes stopping and eating a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, overall, it's just a great design for somebody who's doing that kind of hiking. <clears throat> The other big thing I like that they did is for structural support. Gossamer Gear puts this big, nice, thick foam pad in here, which you can remove and is a sit pad, okay? So I was able to get rid of my Z-Packs, uh, not, well, not Z-Packs, uh, sorry, my Thermarest sit pad that I've had for years because this is a lot bigger. It's a lot warmer. It's a lot more comfortable. So that was a huge thing to have for me. It was really nice to just pull this out of the backpack when I stopped and be able to sit on a log or a rock or wherever and uh, eat my lunch. And then that eliminated that piece of gear and made the structural support of this backpack a dual piece of gear. Anytime that one piece of gear serves two purposes, you're winning. And uh, that's a big thing for me because I try to, I don't consider myself to be an ultra light backpacker, but I'm a lightweight backpacker. So anytime I can get into a situation where one piece of gear doubles as another, I'm happy. 
because that's less stuff that I have to carry. And I think most people would agree with me that this design is great for that reason. And as you can see, it's relatively easy to get in and out. Um, the sizing on this pack, um, I took my measurements. It was very accurate. The, pa the pack fits me great. It's very comfortable. And I found that this particular type of styrofoam pad on your back keeps me from sweating through the pack material into the interior of the pack a lot more than like my Mountain Smith pack, which I found on my section hike in 2020. I actually sweated through the entire bottom of that pack because, well, I'm a big guy and I sweat a lot. So that really helped with picking up that moisture from my body and transferring it into the pack material, which I was super happy about. Uh, I did get, uh, went ahead and got the option for the large uh, shoulder pack, or it might even be the extra large. Anyways, I got this add-on, which comes with the uh, webbing that you can put it on the backpack strap. And I'll take my, uh, this is a 13 Pro Max iPhone. As you can see, it fits in there perfectly. So that's really nice. I never really had, you know, instant access to my phone before and other packs, and that solved that problem. And then it's got this Lycra pocket on the front, which is generally where I've been putting, like, I can put a small pocket knife in here, and then I can also put, like, um, you know, like a Snickers bar or a granola bar in there. I've got plenty of room for that so that I have instant access to that stuff too, which is really great if you're on the move all day long section hiking a big trail and you don't want to stop. A lot of times I'll pick up a bar or something like that and I'll eat while I walk because I don't want to stop or I'm, you know, a lot of times I've got a, a, a distance that I want to make for the day. So that's pretty cool. They're also pretty generous. These are not the biggest hip belt pockets I've ever seen, but they're adequately sized. Um, you can get, you know, quite a bit of stuff in the hip belt pockets of this pack. And uh, a lot of times I'm using this to store like extra batteries for my camera. Uh, again, I put, uh, I like snacks. Let's be honest, we all like snacks. Um, I'd keep, you know, snacks in one of these. Um, the other one, I usually keep access to my flashlight. I'll keep a flashlight in there. And uh, sometimes I'll keep like different types of water flavoring. Um, I don't always flavor my water, but sometimes I like to. So I'll put like a couple packets of water flavoring or something in there to keep throughout the day. So anyways, in a nutshell, there's the pack. I kind of stuffed a blanket in there so that you guys could see it kind of filled up and uh, see the shape of it. And again, that is the Gossamer Gear G420. If you're looking for a pack that is going to meet your needs as far as weight, if your base weight is also already pretty low, this is a good pack to look at. If you're a person that hasn't got your base weight down, I don't think they recommend any more than 35 pounds in this pack, which is pretty generous. Um, I personally probably wouldn't put more than uh, 30 in it. Um, if it's completely full of gear and I have two bottles of water, I'm generally hovering around 24 to 25 pounds on a week section hike of the AT. So that's with food, all my gear, water, the whole kit caboodle, about 24 pounds. And that does include a lens and a camera body. So it's about perfect for me. I think that's a great comfort point. I've not had any problems with it. I've put about 60 miles on this pack and it is most definitely gonna be my main pack going forward in the 2022 season. As I did not hike much last year except for the Appalachian Trail this year, Hopefully, I plan to do a lot more hiking than that. And you just cannot beat the price point on this pack. Another thing that I also really like, and I'll go through here the top, this is a roll top pack, which I prefer because everybody is gonna end up with a different amount of volume in their packs. And so if I don't wanna use the entirety of this pack, which I don't, then I get to limit the size of it. I don't end up with a floppy pack brain or something that's sitting on top. I don't think a lot of people have a brain on their pack anymore, but uh, that's pretty annoying for me. So this is great because I can roll the pack down. <clears throat> it comes with these elastic cinches on the side, and then you can use the straps to compress it down even further. You can get this thing really good and tight, which if you've never really focused on compressing your pack down, can make your 
day of hiking a lot easier on the body because you can really control where the weight is distributed um, onto your body instead of having this unstable floppy pack. So they did a really good job of making sure that you've got plenty of points to cinch this pack down and get it tight. The construction overall, I have not found a single problem with it. Um, the stitching, everything on this pack that needs to be rigid and built well is. Uh, I haven't had a single problem with it. Uh, it's still new to me. You know, like I said, I've put it through its paces. I got about 60 miles on it. So uh, there's a, it's got some time to go before I really see if there's some fail points. But so far, there's not a whole lot to complain about um, this uh, type of material that Gossamer Gear uses. I know that a lot of people are kind of drifting towards the Dyneema these days. Uh, there was a few reasons I didn't want to get a Dyneema pack. I don't have anything against Dyneema pack. But I try to keep myself on a budget when it comes to hiking gear. Like anybody else, I don't have an unlimited supply of money. And this pack is an incredible value. The only thing I suggest to do to it out of the box, and that's just to protect yourself, is one, I go ahead and I waterproof it and seam seal it. Uh, you can do that yourself uh, particularly easy. I just use silicone. It's nothing fancy. Uh, and then I always use a pack liner, but I have used pack liners with every other pack that I've had. So that's really no different for me. Um, my quilts are down and I'm sure a lot of people are, are using down quilts. So, you know, keeping those dry is pretty important. So just don't take a risk, put them in the pack liner. It'll be fine. You can get some, uh, Nylofume pack liners from, uh, Light AF and, and several different companies offer them. It's pretty easy to get one, or you can use a compactor bag. It doesn't have to be anything special. Heck, use a garbage bag if that's all you have. But uh, with those two things, that will keep you pretty watertight with this pack. I didn't have a lot of problems with it, uh, getting wet and staying wet. It did get wet on my last section hike. It dried out by the next day. It was no big deal. I don't have a lot of problems with it. They also include this zipper pouch at the top, which, uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do with it at first, but it does actually fit uh, my poop kit pretty easily. And I really hadn't thought about that purchasing a pack, but that's kind of nice because it's away from everything. So I could put my poop shovel and my TP and whatever else I want to put in there. And it keeps it separated from my clothes and food and whatever is in here. And also from the interior of my pack. So that was an accidental thing that actually worked out really well because, well, I really would prefer to keep my poop shovel away from my food. I don't know about the rest of you, but that's me. So anyways, that's my quick take here on the G420. Um, if you're in the market this year for a new pack and you're looking for something that checks all the boxes that this pack does, I don't think you're going to find it at a better price. It did not take very long at all to get the pack. I think I waited maybe three or four days for it and uh, I just couldn't be happier with it. So take what you want from it, but that's the G420. It's the pack you're going to see me carry this year. It's the pack I carried on my fall section hike of the Appalachian Trail and it's the pack I'll be carrying for a while because so far it's doing its job. So I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I'm going to try to do better to keep putting some videos on this channel. Thank you for everybody who's commented, who has liked, uh, subscribed to the channel. Uh, we're going to get things going here in 2022. We're going to get back out there and hike. And until next time, guys, remember to hike your own hike. See ya!